Hello YouTube, Robert here, I look like a hot mess, but I felt like I wanted to make a video because I've been wanting to, and then the closer it got to the new year, I'm like, hey, I'll just do it after the first of the year. So, how have you been? I've been good. Couple of things, I haven't really been cross-stitching too much, um, so the last video that you saw is pretty much it except I know for a fact I did work a little bit on my Ireland sampler and got a little bit more done up here so I'm getting there this is almost all done all this is done to that point I think there's a little bit more there all of the waves are done all the fish um, I think this has another color that goes in there um, all my sheeps are sparkled. I don't think you'll be able to see that. Then I need to finish going in and outlining. I'm outlining in gold acrylic. Um, this is all done. So I'm outlining all my fields in gold acrylic. And I outlined the sheep kind of pasture in gold acrylic. So there's that. Um, that's all that I have been working on is just a few things up there. Um, <clears throat> really have been work busy working a lot and then I started technically a second job not really it's basically I work how or when I want to um, delivering for Uber Eats um, which has been interesting if you want to hear a story time click the I button let me know the other thing I'm working on right now, it's not stitching related, but it's crochet. I'm doing a scarf. I haven't gotten very far because I just started it yesterday, I think. Um, but I'm doing this multicolored, variegated uh, threads or yarns. And then this kind of tan gray kind of color um, the variegated one is by well they're both red heart um, super saver so red heart super saver the variegated one is called their camo line and uh, the color is mirage I don't know if you'll be able to see that mirage and then the other color I don't know the name of it because I lost the little thing so who knows all I know is it's red heart super saver because that's pretty much all that I buy so that's gonna be a scarf for me um, and I thought that the colors looked really good it's worked um, if you guys know anything about um, crochet if not I can post something um, talking about it but it's worked in double or half double crochets so I don't know if you can see that like here's one row second row third row fourth row I'm doing four rows of each color um, for that and so uh, Phil I know that you were talking about not being able to get like granny squares and things like to sit like this I have tips if you want to hear them. So there's that. Then, this is going to be a short video. Anyway, whatever. Then the only other thing, because I thought, okay, I'm going to like ease my way in back into doing videos, is um, I found a tag by, uh, on Trisha, the left-handed stitcher's blog, um, called the Twinkle Tag, and it was posted by... Crafty Magpie. Um, what was your first cross stitch? It was my Christmas stocking. Insert. Photo. 
How many needle minders do you have? I have two, a dragon and a scarab that um, Jan sent to me, and I'll insert photos of those. If you could stitch one picture, what would it be? I want to do the Mona Lisa. I have bought a Mona Lisa pattern from Etsy. Just haven't started it um, or anything. Um, and we're going to pause on the tag because that reminded me of something. So I'm doing the Armada Designs um, class schedule Sal. I haven't bought anything for it, so I know I'm I'm behind. I need to get stuff for it and start stitching January. Uh, but anyway, I digress. So moving on. Question four: What other craft would you like to try? Um, I've done almost everything. I've tried knitting. I'm not good. I can do it. I don't like to do it because it takes me forever. I prefer crochet. Um, I've done sewing, like clothing, and things like that. Um, scrapbooking, I've done some scrapbooking. So the one that I haven't tried and would like to try is quilting. Um, number five, what is the longest project that you have been working on? It's the Christmas stocking. I'll insert another photo of that. <clears throat> what is the quickest project that you have done? It was the wedding sampler for my husband and I. Insert photo. What threads do you like to use? I primarily like DMC, um, both the variegated and regular DMC. Um, the what is it called? Light effects is kind of weird to work with. Um, not bad, but it's kind of weird. Uh, show, us, uh, show us your Oort jar. I don't have one. All my threads I throw away as I go, and I probably shouldn't. I didn't know. Okay, so here's a little story. Before... I started watching and doing floss tube um, back in, I think it was April, was when I first started filming floss tube. But before then, I had watched people like Coffee Stitcher and stuff. I didn't know what work was until probably six or seven months ago, I think. And it was when. Um, uh, Phil was talking about receiving Ort in the mail and how he was going to try to figure out how to incorporate it into a project. Um, I didn't know that was a thing. So I, for 2018, I'm going to do Ort. And I'm going to do it both with yarn. I'm going to have like a separate yarn Ort. And then a separate like floss Ort for cross stitch. Um... So that is a goal of mine, is to have an Oort jar, or a couple of them, going. Show us something you are working on other than stitching. Well, I kind of already did that. And it's my scarf, a crocheted scarf. Um, what are your least favorite threads to use? Um, now, I haven't tried any of the silks or um, hand-dyed flosses or anything like that. So, of the ones that I've tried, uh, Krennic is the one that I hate to use, like, the most. It's my least favorite. It's the prettiest. Um, I wish it would show up on camera, but... Um, like the sparkles is just beautiful in person of the little sheep. Um, I used blending filament for the sheep. And then the gold is just beautiful. It, it adds a special something that I thought this project was missing because the pattern didn't call for all that. Um, so I like the end result. 
I don't like working with Krennic though. Um, I want to try Petite Treasure Braid, but I haven't. Um, but I want to. So that's my least favorite. Last but not least, number 11. What is the project you've hated working on the most? Honestly, my Christmas stocking. I'm not going to insert a picture because you guys have seen it twice in this video. Um, that's the one that I hate working on the most. Um, it's kind of tedious, but that's not why I don't like working on it. Um, the reason I don't like working on it is it brings up feelings from my past that I thought I resolved, but every once in a while they like to make a little sneak peek every once in a while. And working on that stocking does it for me. Um, there's a whole long story. My grandmother had... Um, Oop, I just kicked you guys. My grandmother had made my sister um, and I. My sister and I were 18 months apart. And then we have three other brothers and sisters that I think there's 10 years or something between us before the middle brother. Um, but my sister and I that are 18 months apart, my grandmother uh, on our dad's side made me a stocking and made her a stocking. Well, somehow, not to get into like all the nitty gritty, whatever, when my parents got divorced when I was um, 14 or 15, my mom kind of moved around a lot with us kids. There's a whole other bag of stuff. Um, but when she did that, we lost a lot of these like heirloom type things. Um, and the stocking was one of them uh, that got left behind for both me and my sister. I was fortunate enough to, my sister and I really were talking like deeply about it one day. And we researched and scoured and I found them on eBay um, and I think for the two I want to say I spent something like I don't know 15 to 20 dollars or something which to me and my sister was absolutely priceless um, just because I mean it was something our grandmother did now she did it from an old I think it was a Dimensions is the brand. An old Dimensions kit from the 80s. Um, so the fact that there were two kits, one that was my stocking and one that was my sister's stocking, that were unopened, untouched, everything, everything included was amazing. Now, for me, because of having the issues with the feelings and the emotions and stuff tied to it, I opted not to stitch it from kit. I will eventually, but it's hard enough stitching it from stuff that I've bought. So I bought like a linen for it or a even weave for it and bought all the threads, um, matched them as close as I could from um, DMC to what was included in the kit. Um, outside of that, if I was stitching it from the kit, it would have been too draining, to say the least. Um, but that's why I hate working on it. It's um, my least favorite because of that. Anyway, enough of that. Well, I don't have anything else to talk about. I haven't really bought anything either. Ooh. Anyway, that is it. If you want to hear my nail story, head on over to my nail video. And I will see you guys next time. Have a good one. Happy stitching.